welcome back to by science class channel today is another lecture and we are going to talk about cholesterol and lipoproteins okay so we talked about steroid in the last video we talked about the classifications under steroid we said we have cholesterol we have lipoproteins we have anabolic steroids we have sex hormones and other lipid derived compounds so all those um compounds all those lipids are under steroids and we said steroids also they are made up of isoprene units they are terpenoid lipids so these are examples of steroids we have cholesterol and lipoproteins so today we are going to talk about cholesterol and lipoproteins into details to know what the steroid nucleus is the functional groups the functions of cholesterol we have good and bad cholesterol and we have lipoproteins okay so we also talk about we will talk about lipoproteins and the types of lipoproteins and their functions in the body so without wasting my time let's talk about cholesterol first so cholesterol is the most abundant steroid in the body so when we take the body cholesterol composed of a major parts in the body so it's made up of many components in the body so the body has a lot of cholesterol so it contains 27 carbon atoms so when you count all the carbon atoms in the structure of cholesterol over here you get 27 carbon atoms so at carbon 3 there is an oh group so it's an alcohol that comes the name cholester or cholesterol so the or over here is a prefix or it's a suffix for um alcohol groups okay so this is carbon one this is carbon two this is carbon three if you add carbon three there is an oh group so it's an alcohol group it's an alcohol functional group it's composed of steroid nucleus with a metal group so this is the steroid nucleus one two three four with metal groups right attached to the steroid nucleus that's the ring over here and a chain and hydroxyl group attached so this is the hydroxyl group and cholesterol is a precursor for corticosteroids and vitamin d and bile acid so it's a precursor all right for many uh lipid derived compounds okay so we get corticosteroids vitamin d and bile acid or bile salts from cholesterol okay so this is cholesterol so we have two types of cholesterol we have good and bad cholesterol but let's talk about um cholesterol into detail first so the best steroid known the best steroid known is synthesized in the liver and is obtained from diet okay so when we eat we get cholesterol from it the function of cholesterol is it regulates membrane fluidity so it allows substance to move in and out of the cell and it maintains membrane fluidity it makes the membrane fluid like structure all right so it's a precursor for most important um, biomolecules that we have hormones and vitamins and as we said bile acid and bile salt so cholesterol has good and bad sides so we have good cholesterol and we have bad cholesterol as well so for good cholesterol it is known as high density lipoprotein so cholesterol and lipoproteins they are linked so we are going to talk about lipoproteins in the very next slide okay so high density lipoproteins is known as good cholesterol and this is because it removes excess cholesterol from the blood back to the liver where it's break it is broken down and removed from the body so when the body accumulates what um, lipids or cholesterol so it breaks down this cholesterol excess ones from the body and remove it away it removes it from the blood to prevent blood clotting and deposit of blood in the arteries and the veins all right so it prevents all those heart diseases all right and we also have bad cholesterol and this is known as low density lipoprotein and the reason why this is bad cholesterol is that it's 
transport cholesterol from the liver to the blood okay so it's a reverse of the good cholesterol so when it transports cholesterol from the liver to the blood cholesterol is accumulated in the blood arteries that the veins that the blood passes through so when the cholesterol is accumulated all right it it blocks the pathway of the blood so the blood cannot be pumped so it leads to high blood pressure and um what else we have atherosclerosis that hardening of the um arteries all right leading to hard blood pressure and all those kind of disease so that's the reason why it is called bad cholesterol all right okay so we also have um lipoproteins so when we talk about lipoproteins they are soluble and transport form of lipid in the blood so as i said earlier it's a soluble and a transport form so it can move from one phase to another as i said it can move from the blood to the um liver it can move from the liver to the blood and it can be stored as an energy or all right so that's it so there are complex lipids known as triglycerides we have cholesterol we have phospholipids okay they include low density lipoproteins we have high density lipoproteins we have very low density lipoproteins and we have chylomicrons so these are the types of lipoproteins we have this is the structure of lipoproteins as you can see over here we have triglycerides we have protein molecule over here we have phospholipid we have free cholesterol we have cholesterol bound to fatty acid so this is a lipoprotein this is the structure of lipoproteins so let's talk about the functions of these four types of lipoproteins so the first one is very low density lipoproteins and this carries triglycerides and other peripheral tissues for storage so this the main function of vldl that's very low density lipoprotein is that it stores energy so it stores energy from uh triglycerides and other peripherals and also we have low density lipoproteins so this low density lipoprotein it's also known as bad cholesterol as we've discussed earlier because it carries cholesterol from the liver into the bloodstream and it's not removed from the blood but rather it is accumulated all right the deposits are accumulated in the veins and the arteries leading to the clotting of what's blood preventing of blood from what circulating as a result it can lead to high blood pressure and atherosclerosis hardening of what the arteries all right this is a bad it's not good for the body to accumulate low density lipoprotein so there are specific drugs that enhances um or prevents this low density lipoproteins all right that can convert these lipoproteins from the bloodstream to the liver where it can be broken down and removed from what the body we also have high density lipoproteins this carries cholesterol from the bloodstream to the liver. So the liver is a synthesizing machine, so it can break this cholesterol down and remove them from the body. That comes the reason why it's a good cholesterol. The last one is chylomicrons. So chylomicrons is also a lipoprotein, and this consists of mainly triacylglycerols and they are the least dense of the lipoprotein so for the lipoproteins is the least dense of them so this is lipoprotein and this is cholesterol for you so we have good and bad cholesterol the reason why it's good cholesterol is that it transfers or carries triglycerides or cholesterols from the bloodstream to the liver so the liver will break them down and remove them from the body the reason why we have bad cholesterol is also is that it transports or carries cholesterol from the liver to the blood blood what stream so it is it's, it's very bad and it's no good for the body to accumulate such in the body so this is lipoproteins and this is cholesterol for you go through and if you don't understand anything make sure you leave comments in the 
um, comment section and we will attend to your question and misunderstanding. All right. Thank you very much for watching the video. Our next video is going to be, um, we are going to talk about anabolic steroids and sex hormones. So they are also steroids. So we are going to talk about them in our next video. So kindly stay focused. If this is your first time watching this channel, it's a bioscience class channel. All studies from biochemistry, you can get this from this channel. So make sure you subscribe, you like this video, and you share to your friends for, for them to also benefit from it. So thank you for watching this video, and have a good day. Thank you.